द सिंपल पेंडुलम अ सिंपल पेंडुलम कंसिस्ट ऑफ पार्टिकल ऑफ मैथ एम सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम वन एंड ऑफ एन अन स्ट्रेचबल मैथलेस स्ट्रिंग ऑफ लेंथ एल and the other end is connected to the fixed surface now what i'm going to do i'm going to consider this information to draw a simple pendulum so this is my simple pendulum where this is the mass m suspending from a spring of length l and let this line is the equilibrium position of the simple pendulum when the simple pendulum is oscillating let the pendulum makes an angle of theta with the equilibrium position and since the simple pendulum is making an angle of theta with the equilibrium position then the force acting on the particle of mass m has two components one is f cosine theta which is this force and the other one is f sine theta which is this part of the force then we can write the force acting on the pendulum due to its mass is given as f is equal to mg because basically the gravity will act on the simple pendulum and let this is our equation number 1 now the restoring torque acting on the bob is given as tau is equal to r f where r is the distance and f is the force or i should say the perpendicular distance and f is the force now let's substitute the value and if we do that we will get tau is equal to negative l f sin theta and let this is our equation number 2 now the torque acting on the pendulum is given as tau is equal to i alpha and let this is our equation number 3 and we know that where i is the pendulum's rotational inertia and alpha is the angular acceleration about that point so from equation number 2 and 3 we have negative l f sin theta is equal to i alpha and what we need to do we need to simplify further and i'm going to substitute f is equal to mg from first equation and if i do that i will write negative l mg sin theta is equal to i alpha and i need to find the value of alpha so i'm taking everything on the other side except alpha so i will get alpha is equal to negative mg l over i sin theta now for a small angles sin theta is approximately equal to theta so i can write alpha is equal to negative mgl theta over i and let this is our equation number 4 we know that alpha is equal to negative omega square theta and let this is our equation number 5 so we can equate equation number 4 and 5 and if we do that we will get omega square is equal to mgl over i and then omega will be square root of mgl over i now we need to find the time period of the pendulum so the time period of the pendulum is given as t is equal to 2 pi over omega now what we are going to do we are going to substitute this value of omega over here and if we do that we will get t is equal to 2 pi square root i over mgl now let's substitute the value of i as ml square because this is inertia and if we substitute that value we will get t is equal to 2 pi square root of ml square over mgl and we can cancel the common terms and if we do that we will get t is equal to 2 pi square root of l over g and this is the time period for a simple pendulum and this is how we define a simple pendulum and its time period